I have been interested in these non-ordinary experiences for which current psychiatry and psychology has no special name. They're all put in the category of altered states of consciousness. What it suggests somehow is that there's a correct way of experiencing ourselves and the world, and that in these states, it's distorted. It's not easy to really question you know, some of the really fundamental assumptions. Stan Groff is known as a pioneer of psychedelic psychotherapy. And 1954, we got a sample of LSD. When my own experience was culminating, my consciousness was catapulted out of my body. I became nothing, but I became nothing. I became everything. For most of my life, I felt like I really didn't belong here. Like I was born on the wrong planet. I had to meet Stan. I knew he held the wisdom I needed. One after another told me that they believe that what they are experiencing must be a reliving of birth. Equipped with current psychiatry, I just had no clue. You cannot learn that from books what, what these, uh, these patients are going through. Holotropic breathwork is an experiential approach to self-exploration, to therapy, which uses faster breathing, powerful evocative music, and also a certain kind of bodywork. After the session, they try to communicate what happened to them in a graphic way. It was time for me to find out what shadows were lurking in my unconscious. Would I have the courage to confront them? If anybody's paying attention, they're traumatized in some way. We're basically all skating on thin ice. There is a profound sense of uncertainty. The pain was so intense. I was also tapping into the collective sadness and what a depth of it there was. Changing the situation is not simple. We cannot just uh, do transpersonal spiritual sanitization. Bad trips and negative material were actually a royal road to uh, transformative healing. The way to resolve traumatic unconscious memory would be if that material fully emerges into consciousness. Stan represents the long through line, a work over decades. He uncovered the deep structure, the archetypal pattern, you might say, of the life process. That kind of innocence that Stan has is this tremendous appreciation for everything. There is a beauty and there is an intelligence which cannot come out of matter. It's clear to me the consciousness of the cosmic phenomenon. <laughs>